Greetings and welcome to the First Lutheran Church Pastoral Vlog. We're anticipating the third Sunday in the season of Easter, and we're standing by one of our paraments, which has the Cairo cross, uh, the Alpha and Omega, and Alleluia in celebration of the risen Christ. And that is indeed what we are celebrating this Sunday as well, that Christ is risen indeed. And we get to hear this story about two disciples on their way to a little town called Emmaus, and Jesus joins them, yet they don't realize it's Jesus, and he explains the whole scriptures to them, and eventually their eyes are uncovered, and they see who it is, and then he disappears, and then they go back to Jerusalem and tell the disciples all about what they have seen, and the disciples say, he is risen indeed, and from this we get our uh, saying uh, that that we often say in church, he is risen, he is risen indeed, Alleluia. And Easter continues now in this season. But I wanted to ask you a question. Have you ever looked at the Bible, turned the pages, and wondered what all these words are pointing to? There are a lot of books that comprise the Bible, and sometimes uh, without the Holy Spirit it may seem a little confusing, but our gospel reading this day clears all of that up. As Jesus clears this up for these disciples walking to Emmaus, he opens their eyes and tells them that from Moses through the prophets, all of Scripture now is pointing to him, to Jesus Christ, who was killed for our sake, yet raised from the dead, and he is living now. This is what the Scriptures are pointing to, and it's what we point to when we gather for worship. We actually need to hear this word. We, like these disciples, may have a sad look on our face some days, But Christ comes and says, you are mine. I have come for this very day, for your sake, to forgive your sins. Well, now I invite you to come to worship Saturday or Sunday. Hear this word of Christ this Easter season. We'll see you there.